Drake is about as insecure as a stepfather when you're taller than him, and day by day it's becoming more and more apparent that this silly goose is not happy with where he stands in the music industry. But before we get into that, get some cranberry juice, some Cheerios, and consider subscribing because I upload videos just like this about music two times a week. Brand spanking new videos, and you don't want to be a part of the later people when you could be a part of now. I'm saying be a part of the future. This is the future. Let's get into it. Shout out DJ Khaled. As we all know, Drake is a professional silver medalist in every lane that he is in. Whether it's behind Kendrick Lamar in artistic ability, J. Cole in lyrics, Kanye in being more crazy, or Soldier Boy in everything. Drake? <laughs> Drake? But just recently, Drake has been taking tiny shots at a bunch of people. And he normally does this, but this time I found it a little bit more interesting. I'm talking about people like Kendrick Lamar, Childish Gambino, and more people who I believe may be sending Drake into a further midlife crisis. And honestly, I feel like if this Drake keeps up, he's going to be breathing more heavy than an I'm Conflicted video. Because I'll be breathing heavy on my microphone. I don't know if you guys can tell. But so is Drake. All right, Drake is Drake is upon us. This first shot is at Donald Glover for some reason. So a little while back, Donald Glover made this massive song or Childish Gambino made this massive song. This is America. And it was originally meant to be a Drake diss. He talked about this in some interview. And Aubrey, also known as Drake, is very upset, which I understand you could be a little bit upset because, you know, somebody said they made a diss track about you or something. So, I mean, I'd be a little bit upset too. But he went as far as to put the fact that this song made by Childish Gambino is over accoladed and overrated on the stage. It was kind of just like a small little shot. It wasn't anything massive, but you could tell that it definitely got into his head. He's living rent free in his head. Because the interview of him saying that it was originally a Drake this, which by the way, he was not very serious about it. It's not like it was like some massive thing that it's supposed to be. But he did this like three months ago. And ever since, Drake has not been able to sleep, shaking in his boots. Everywhere he goes, he's thinking about Childish Gambino. And he had to put this on his stage to scare Childish Gambino away. It was one of the most friendly people I've ever seen in my entire life. I don't know how you like took that to heart. But I mean, fair enough, I guess. He's not taking smoke from anybody, including Kendrick Lamar. How dare you be absent from the music industry? Drake, uh, <laughs> Drake was really upset that Kendrick Lamar did not appear for like five-ish years. He was like... Guys that go away three, four, five years, want to chill out, all that shit. That's not me. So but yeah, Drake is pretty much Octo, man. He loves taking subliminal shots at everybody. He does. He just does a lot of stuff that's just like so like small like it's not like massive steps you know like he did a sort of stealing x's entire song a little while back xxx tentacion he has some beef with him he didn't like him at all drake consistently has beef with kanye which before he used to say that he was a big fan of kanye but now he's actually putting uh <laughs> his wife's audios in his songs on search and rescue he, even though they apparently had like this big thing where they were all at peace and stuff, they, they did that Larry Hoover concert, uh, but Drake just kept going at it. Drake, Drake just wants anything that can boost him, which is fair enough, and by taking subliminal shots at people, like things that he's not directly saying he doesn't like them, but he's just like, like whispering it pretty much, he's like... Just he's just making everybody mad as, as much as he can so he can get a bunch of like excitement around his name. But it's not like he really needs it. He's Drake after all. And I by no means hate Drake. I listen to a lot of his music. But I think it's just very apparent that Drake is not very good at handling situations. He's a very emotional guy. Or he's a very I don't know, I, I feel like he, he moves he moves smart. He he knows what he's doing. He definitely knows what he's doing. But he's definitely a petty person and you could tell it has a little bit of Pride. He has a little bit too much pride, arguably, to be to be angry at Childish Gambino. I don't know, but that's all I really gotta say. I love you all very much. I'm conflicted, and I'm out. Peace.